So the goal of this problem is to find Laplace inverse of f of s, where f of s is cot inverse s by omega. So we have the formula if f of t is equal to Laplace inverse of capital F of s, then we have Laplace inverse of f dash of s is equal to minus t f of t. This will be the formula we will be using. So in our case, f of s is equal to cot inverse s by omega. Differentiating this, we have f dash of s is equal to minus 1 by s square plus omega square times derivative of s by omega, which is 1 by omega. Oh, sorry, sorry. The derivative is minus 1 by 1 plus s square by omega square times derivative of s by omega, which is 1 by omega. Now, this is equal to minus, taking LCM, we get minus 1 by omega square plus s square times 1 by omega. 1 power gets cancelled and we have minus omega by omega square plus n square. So, f dash of s is this. Now, this is in some standard form. The Laplace inverse of this function is sine inverse. So, sine AD, basically. In this case, it will be minus sine omega t. So, we have the formula. Laplace of sine AT, which will be a divided by s square plus a square. So Laplace inverse of f dash of s in our case will be Laplace inverse of minus omega by omega square plus s square, which will be minus of Laplace inverse omega by omega square plus s square, which is nothing but minus sine omega t. And by this formula, this is equal to t times f of t, which is equal to t times f of t, which is nothing but t times Laplace inverse of f of s. This implies Laplace inverse of f of s will be minus sine omega t divided by t. 